And now, a special report on a young athlete who's turning heads in Portland, Oregon's Little League Baseball program. Every day after school, fourth grader Stevie Jones comes to this field to sharpen his baseball skills. This is not unusual for 12-year-old boys with dreams of playing in the big leagues, but Stevie Jones is not your usual 12-year-old. I haven't seen a young man with talent like this since Johnny Phillip in the 60s. The only thing that ruined him is he developed a penchant for self-abuse. He really took the old bat and balls in hand and fertilized tissue town, if you know what I mean. The muscles in his wrist got so much stronger than the muscles in his arm that all he could do was throw straight into the dirt. Now, if we can just keep little Stevie here away from the porn, he's going to end up in the big show someday. He throws hard, real hard. He really puts the jelly on the biscuit and brings it to the table. He's got a good hard fastball, a slurve, two kinds of screwgees, and a backdoor change. He can throw double X's in and out of the zone, and he's good from the wind up, the stretch, the front, the middle, or straight out of the pen. And one thing's for sure, he really keeps those gophers in the pantry. <clears throat> we just uh, have to work on his control. Oh. Oh. Sorry, coach. But Stevie is more than a gifted ball player. Although there is no record of his early years, Stevie says that his parents died when he was very young and he was bounced around between orphanages and foster homes for years before being adopted by Beverly Jones, a young woman who was anxious to start a family. It's hard to be a single mother in today's society. I wasn't sure that I could raise a child without a father, but I was tired of waiting for the right man to come along. So I looked into adoption and I thought I would adopt a little baby, but then I saw little Stevie. He looked so sad and lonely. I knew his life had been difficult and I just wanted to take care of him. So I adopted him, I took him home, and ever since then it's worked out quite well. He's really come out of his shell, even though it's still difficult at times. Late at night, when it's stormy outside or he hears a bad noise, he'll run into my room and hop into bed with me, and we'll cuddle up real close and... Well, anyway, he's a very affectionate child. Very affectionate. And needy. DB is quite developed for a 12-year-old. He stands 6'2", weighs in at 190 pounds, and often wears a full beard. But even though he looks different from the other boys in his class, in many ways, he's just like any other kid. He hangs out with his friend Billy, plays video games, and rides his bike. He even has a girlfriend named Kristen, with whom he spends most of his spare time. He's a really great guy. He's good for a few laughs and he really knows how to show a woman a good time. I mean girl. So uh, how did you two meet? I was waitressing at this dive over on Interstate 20 and Stevie rolls up in his truck. Gym class. Gym class. Gym class. So what do you two do for fun? Well, sometimes we hit the tracks or we go to nightclubs, but mostly we just go over to my place and... Hang on, hang on. School dances and TV. We go to school dances and watch TV. 
say, uh, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen? He really likes Kristen. She's a sweet girl. They have a lot of fun together, and I really think that she's his best pal. Sometimes Stevie invites his friends over for a slumber party, what? and Kristen... Honey, please. Sorry. And Kristen seems to be the only one that shows up. At first, I didn't think it would be such a good idea to have Kristen stay over, but... Steve's so hurt when his friends don't show up, I just didn't have the heart to say no. Last time when she was here, they invited me into Stevie's room for some games. I said no, but isn't that sweet? Although Stevie may be a star athlete, he has had trouble in his classes and has been disciplined frequently for his academic and behavioral problems. Well, you know, Stevie can be a handful, but in some ways he's very smart. He knows everything there is to know about cars, beer, classic rock, and tax shelters. But he seems awfully bored with English math and history. Although he did do extremely well in our sex education module, he must have really studied because he knew all about sexual intercourse. He knew all of the birth control methods, including some I hadn't even thought of. And his paper on paternity issues was most thorough. We've heard what the adults in his life feel about him, but what does Stevie think of his remarkable life? Well, uh, I really feel good that after, you know, 30 years, I, uh, after, after 12 years, to have finally found a family and a home and friends. You know, I, I like playing on the baseball team, and uh, I like hanging out with my buddies. Do you have any hobbies? Oh, yeah. I, uh, well, let's see, I, I like to restore 73 Camaros. Uh, I have a huge beer bottle collection. Uh, I've got every issue of Playboy since 1967. and uh, uh, I collect baseball cards. Do you get along with your mom? Oh, yeah. She's great. She's been wonderful to me. It's great to have a mom who takes care of me like she does. Uh, oh, honey, every morning she wakes me up, makes me breakfast, and sees me out to the bus. She always gives me a big smile and waves to the bus when it leaves. You know, it makes me feel really good, sort of safe and loved, you know? But my favorite thing must be bath night. You know, I'm a big boy, and there's a lot of places I just can't reach. Another day of school is over, and it's time to get to work. Coach Smith works closely with Stevie to help him get ready for baseball season this spring. Today, he's going to be working on the good old fastball, high and tight. Let's go, boys! SNJ TV News has just learned that confidence man Stephen Winston Jones, a.k.a. Stevie, has been apprehended at the home of a southeast Portland woman. He was taken into police custody where he immediately escaped and is believed to be at large in the Portland area. Jones is described as 6 foot 2, 190 pounds, with brown hair, blue eyes, and a goatee. He was last seen wearing a baseball cap with the letter B on it. If you see Jones, do not attempt to apprehend him, but immediately call the Portland Police Bureau. And now it's time for the weather report with our new meteorologist, Steve Jones. Anyway, uh, we have a high pressure system coming on shore into the Pacific Northwest tonight that will scour out the cold air from the Willamette Valley, bringing us clear skies and higher temperatures, at least for the next couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, there are some storm systems stacked out in the Pacific that will come on shore probably on the weekend, bringing us rain and cloudy skies.